we tell you about the dangers of avalanches. Philip and his friends are planning a ski trip, but they also want to get away from the groomed beasts and have some fun off-piste. However, Philip knows that in order to stay safe, they need to pay attention to a couple of things. In winter, there is always the risk of a potential avalanche, which means some careful planning work for Philip. He finds out about the current avalanche conditions and the weather in their ski region. He also thinks about who is going on the trip. Are they all fit enough? Are they experienced? And do they have the right equipment? Last but not least, he also researches their exact route. The latest avalanche conditions can be found by Philip at www.avalanche.org. There are five levels on the avalanche danger scale. Level 1 indicates a low risk of avalanches. Level 2 indicates moderate danger. And Level 3 represents considerable danger. At Level 4, the danger of avalanches is considered high. And there is an extreme risk at Level 5. But what does that mean? There are a few rules of thumb you can follow. If there is a moderate danger level, you should stay in terrain less than 40 degrees. This is extremely steep, usually rocky terrain. At level 3, you should avoid terrain that is steeper than 30 degrees. Any angle greater than this is classed as a steep slope. If the danger of avalanches is rated as high, then you should stay on secured slopes. If the danger is rated as extreme, you should spend the day in the sauna instead. Philip knows that even in level 1 conditions, he still needs to pay attention to local dangers. These can include critical amounts of new snow, fresh snow drifts, thoroughly moist snow, and unstable old snow packs. In addition to this, fresh avalanches, collapsing sounds, and cracks in the snow pack can indicate potential risks. The first preparations have been made, but even right before they set out, there are still several things they need to think of. Before the tour, everyone checks their kit and takes some emergency equipment with them. They also test that their avalanche search devices, otherwise known as avalanche transceivers, are working properly. In the event of an accident, these can make the difference between life and death. Philip makes sure that everyone knows the route and the position of a safe meeting point. He also reminds everyone to make sure they always keep a safe distance between each other. Thanks to their great preparation work, they are ready to go skiing.